Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is the act of consecration to the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Mary, Mother of God, you are the Virgin who was promised as the Mother of the Savior. After the fall of our first parents, earth, which was to be paradise, was changed into a valley of tears, on which the curse of God fell. People became the poor banished children of Eve. They roamed about. In the darkness of sin and despair, in his infinite mercy, God chose Abraham, who was to be the father of a chosen nation. You were descended from the most renowned men of that nation and counted among your ancestors patriarchs, prophets, leaders of the people of God, and kings of the ancient law. Your birth was represented beforehand by many figures, announced by prophets, desired for many ages by the human race. Prophets foretold the coming of the Savior and the manner in which the redemption would take place. They spoke of you as his virgin mother and of the part you would play in the redemption of mankind. Balaam referred to you as a star, the star which shall arise from Jacob. Isaiah called you a virgin, behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be Emmanuel. King Solomon described your beauty, thou art all fair, my beloved beautiful as the moon, brilliant as the sun. Mary, my mother, your birth was awaited as the near sign of the deliverance of the human race. The Church regards you as the rising dawn. As the dawn proceeds and announces the coming of the sun, makes the darkness of the night disappear, consoles the sick and rejoices all nature, so you went before and announced Jesus, the Son of Justice, who made the darkness of the world disappear by the light of his gospel, consoled and cured the sick in soul and body, and brought an abundance of graces and blessings to the whole world. Mary, Mother of God, at the very beginning of your existence, you received grace, exceeding in greatness, that of all the saints together, because you were destined to be the Mother of the Redeemer and the Mediatrix of grace for the world. From the first instant of your existence, your mind was filled by the supernatural light of faith and your soul with love of God. You used most perfectly every actual grace, given to you by God, by your acts of virtue. What untold merit you must have laid up for eternity, during the nine months that preceded your nativity. Who can describe the merits and graces that adorned your soul, at the glorious instant of your nativity, at a period when all other children have no merit? How delightful a sight must your beautiful soul have been to heaven! The angels saw a soul which had never been touched by original sin. They had seen Adam created in grace, and John the Baptist, spotless from his birth, because he had been cleansed from original sin in the womb of his mother before birth. In his soul they saw no more than they see in each little soul, as it leaves the baptismal font, grace having taken the place of original sin. But in you they saw a soul whose sanctity surpassed that of angels and of men, a soul which would glorify God more perfectly than any other creature ever had glorified him, or ever would glorify him. No wonder the angels were lost in admiration. They beheld the dwelling place prepared for the Son of God. Mary, my mother, your little life held a mystery immeasurably deeper than that of any other human life since no mind could measure the distance that lay between the chosen maiden, who was not only the servant of the Lord, but also his true mother, and the rest of mankind, who were his servants and no more. You were one of us, and yet you stood above us. With my whole heart, I thank God for all he has done for you and for all mankind through you. Mary, Mother of God, your dear parents, Saint Joachim and Saint Anne, rejoiced at your birth, I admire the holiness of their lives and the nobility of their family. Joachim was of the royal house of David, and Anne of the priestly family of Aaron. They observed the law of God most diligently and spent their days in prayer and in works of mercy. Though they had both vowed to consecrate their firstborn child to the service of the Lord, they remained childless, 
a condition considered a disgrace among the Jews and a mark of heavenly disfavor. Only after many years of fervent prayers did God reward them. You were born into the world in the humble city of Nazareth. Your birth was a miracle of the power of God, because both of your parents were far advanced in years. Who could tell the great joy, which filled their hearts, when they held you in their arms? But all heaven rejoiced at your birth, because you were destined one day to bring the Savior into the world, you were to become God's mother and the queen of heaven and earth. Mary, my mother, I rejoice with the blessed Trinity on your birthday, because you were to take part in the incarnation and redemption of the world. I rejoice with all mankind, because you became the mother of our Redeemer. I rejoice with the whole Church, because you are our life, you bore Jesus, who is the way and the truth and the life, and who was to restore, to mankind, that supernatural life which had been lost. I have every reason to rejoice, for, as the mother of Jesus and my mother, you are my hope of salvation. Through your prayers, and the prayers of your holy parents, may I learn to know you, to love you, to follow you and to serve you more and more, and ever remain your faithful child. This is my sure way of reaching heaven and my God. Daughter of the Mighty Father Maiden, heaven's brightest ray Angel forms around thee gather Dawn of earth's eternal day Mother of the Son and Savior Of the truth, the life, the way Guide our footsteps, calm our passions Dawn of earth's eternal day Spouse of the eternal spirit Blossom which will ne'er decay Let us but thy love inherit Dawn of earth's eternal day Daughter, mother, spouse of heaven Hearken as we earnestly pray Sweetest gift to man e'er given Dawn of earth's eternal day On this joyful and glorious feast of thy most holy nativity I consecrate myself to thee without reserve and beg thee to be born, in spirit, in my soul this day Thou, who wert conceived without sin came into this sinful world in order to prepare the way for the Redeemer of the world, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Come, then too into the world of my sinful and lukewarm soul and prepare there a worthy place for my Lord and Redeemer. I consecrate to thee my body and soul, my goods, both interior and exterior, and even the value of all my good actions, past, present and future leaving to thee the entire and full right of disposing of me and all that belongs to me, without exception, according to thy good pleasure, for the greater glory of God, in time and in eternity. Bestow on thy servants, we beg of thee, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that we, for whom the blessed Virgin's motherhood was the beginning of salvation, may be blessed with peace and joy on the sacred feast day of her nativity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for praying with me.